Thymoma is a tumor which arises in the thymus gland. This gland is situated behind the breast bone just in front of the heart. Sometimes this gland develops the tumor and starts producing various symptoms. The symptoms of thymoma can vary from no symptoms at all and the tumor being picked up on a routine chest x-ray or CT scan done for some reason to local pain, discomfort, sometimes breathlessness, sometimes cough and sometimes even more serious symptoms like swelling of the face etc. due to involvement of nearby structures. Uh, the commonest method by which thymomas are picked up is as a part of workup of myasthenia patients because nearly 10% of the myasthenia gravis patients may have associated thymoma. So when the patients are being worked up, they are picked up to have thymoma on chest x-ray or CT scan. The way to confirm the diagnosis is CT scan, which not only tells the site, but also the size and how big it is, how many structures it is likely to be involving and the total stage of the disease. When the disease is associated with myasthenia, the diagnosis of thymoma is more or less certain and we don't really need to do a tissue diagnosis. But when the patients present otherwise and some other tumors have to be excluded, we sometimes do a fine needle test to confirm this diagnosis because there are some other diagnoses which do not need surgery. So we need to be certain that it is thymoma and not lymphoma or germ cell tumor because they have to be basically treated with chemotherapy. It should be kept in mind that we do not do a thick needle biopsy for these patients because if you do a thick needle biopsy, there is a possibility of rupture of the tumor capsules, which is not something you desire in patients of thymoma. Often asked question is, is it a benign or is it a cancer? Well, thymoma is a locally invasive tumor. So if I have to choose one term between the two, I will say it's a mild variety of cancer. And within the thymoma, the behavior of the tumor varies from the most mildest variety, which grows very slowly to a very, very aggressive variety, which we called as thymic cancer and not thymoma. So the growth pattern of the tumors is widely different, but the basic fact is that this tumor grows slowly and then as it grows, it tends to infiltrate into the surrounding structures and the surrounding structures are the structure next to it behind is the pericardium, which is the layer around the heart, which it often involves. Then there are two nerves passing along the side of it and then on the sides are the two lungs and behind the pericardium, we have various veins and arteries which are starting from the heart. So you can imagine as this tumor grows, it has the potential to involve the pericardium, the phrenic nerves, the lung and the superior vena cava, aorta and other structures of the heart. So it could be an innocuous tumor, but if left untreated, it will continue to grow and infiltrate into these structures and convert it into a serious situation.